In this tutorial we will look at creating a DHCP scope, activating it, and running it. So first go to Server Manager, uh, start that, and then you will go to the Roles section, open your DHCP server, expand this, and we want to look at the IP4 protocol. We notice that we have one scope in there now. We want to right click and go to New Scope, hit Next, and the name of this scope that we're building right now is called Building 1. For the lab sim, it, it is important that you put the space in there. So I'll type this in here. And just to give it a description, I'll put that in the same place. Okay, we will enter our IP address. So the address is 192.168.10.51. And the end is 192.168.10.250 looks like we will accept the default subnet mask hit next and here is where we will create our exclusion so the exclusion we're on subserver 2 so we want to exclude 192.168.10.51 through 192.168.10.210 so make sure you click the add button here Okay, and we can go next. This is our lease time. We'll hit next, and we'll configure this later. Finish this, and next we want to activate this scope. So we'll go ahead and hit finish. Look at our scope, right click, activate. So we're through this step here. Now we have one other portion here. We have to create that same scope on another server and then create an exclusion. So to do that, you right click on DHCP, click add server. Usually you'll have to browse for your server, but it's uh, already found it for, so we select that server. Expand our DHCP console, and we can see the subserver 2 is there, and also the subserver 1 that we just connected to is there. So again, we're going to be working in IP4, and we can see, let's see. So what we want to do is find the correct scope. Okay, we see the scope is here. So all we want to do now is create a new exclusion range. And we're doing this on the subserver 1. So the, the addresses that we're going to exclude here are these 192.168.10.250. All the way to 192.168.10.250. So we'll add this ex exclusion. Make sure that everything is active. We're active here and we are active on subserver 2. Yep. Okay. And that's all there is to this lab. So I hope this has been helpful for you to figure this one out. Thanks.